Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and welcome back to Small Land. I just put up episode one, and you guys seem very hyped about this series, which has got me really hyped about the series because I'm really liking this game and I'm learning more about the game. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna keep it 100. <laughs> the more I learn about this game, the more I like it. I'm really, really enjoying it. And we are going to go do a permanent base today. Where this is a temporary base. We're gonna find a spot for a permanent base. I got the permanent spot for the permanent base. <laughs> I meant the perfect spot, but eh, that works too. So here's the deal, all right? You wanna climb these trees right here, all right? There's gonna be 10 of these trees in the world, okay? And you wanna climb these trees. It's the one with, it's the ones with the mushrooms and the vines going all the way around them. And what you gotta do is you gotta parkour up the tree. I parkoured up the tree and I'm not gonna tell you any more right now. We're gonna go up the tree together and then I'll show you exactly what's at the top of the tree, but you definitely wanna go up this tree. This tree is going to be your permanent base, okay? Um, it, you, this, this permanent base tree will transfer to multiplayer games with your friends. And there's 10 of them because there's 10 people allowed in multiplayer. So that's got me really excited. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but I do plan to play with the cage crew. And we'll just have kind of have to figure out how that works. So when I was parkouring up the tree, I did fall to my death. And then I went to my gravesite, but I couldn't find my body. I'm thinking I might have hit the tree on the way down and maybe my corpse is halfway up the tree in a vine somewhere. I'm just letting it go. I didn't have that much stuff. And I did go ahead and craft myself up a bow. I don't think you guys saw me craft a bow. So I crafted a bow and I'm not sure if you saw me craft the man, mandi, mandibular, mand, mandibular, uh, man, it should be mandible, right? But mandibular, whatever that pickaxe, I got a pickaxe there. That was easy. <laughs> you can also repair stuff, and if you repair stuff early enough, it doesn't cost anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and repair everything so it doesn't cost anything. And then I'm going to come over and show you what's up with this tree. Before we go up the tree, actually, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make some food. Now, what would I like to make? I think the mushroom steaks are the way to go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and eat a mushroom steak because you want to keep your nourishment, at, I think, 70% or higher. So there we go. And there's the tree right there. I did climb up it. Once you climb up it, there is going to be something special at the top. And I'm going to show you right now. This is this has got me hyped right here, man. This is a really cool game mechanic that uh, I, I think is going to I think it's going to work really well. So once you climb up to the tree, there's going to be a now to climb up the tree is a, is a long, arduous parkour thing. I mean, it's it's rough. And like I said, I, I died once falling out of the tree. It's not possible. But the thing is, I get that pit in my stomach when I'm up that high in games. It's very, like, it's a real life, you know? But once you go up there and you talk to somebody and you claim it as your base... Oh, what was that? Oh, got stupid, stupid ants. Get out of here. Get out of here, ants. Nobody likes you. You have no friends. That's not nice. I'm sorry. That's too far. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Uh, I want to make this tree encampment public. I want to call the airlift. So you can make it public. So I, I think I can like open up my world to random people on the internet. Uh, but I want to call the hot airlift. And it's on its way. So here it comes. Check it out. Check it out. And as far as I understand, I don't think bugs can get up here. When I, when I put up my first video, a couple people were like, don't build on the ground. The bugs are going to destroy your base. I want to be honest. I think I got a lucky spot with my base. I don't think my base is going to get destroyed. But... Still, if I can come up here, wait, just wait until you see it. It's awesome. Um, I'd like to go up to the tree. Uh, I'd like to ask you something. Let me ask something. You can go ahead and pause this if you guys care about any of this stuff. There you go. I'm going to read it off camera. I just don't want to read this on camera. It just really slows things down. Uh, oh, is it, how is it even possible? Okay, gotcha. And now... Take me up to the tree, please. Here we go. I'm going up to my base. Like I said, there's there's supposed to be 10 of these spread throughout the land. There's my tree encampment right there. And that is awesome. And it's a big flat space. Nothing's going to mess with me. Um, and that makes me very happy. The only thing you do have to worry about up here is the weather. If the weather comes in, you know, put your crafting stuff inside your house. And, you know, you might have to repair your house from time to time. But this is my uh, my base camp area. So, I don't know where, I don't know what goes up here. Maybe it's so you can make crazy bases. I have no idea. This is going to be all I'll ever need, though. Let's start, let's start crafting a base. All right. Uh, foundations. Oh, so there's no, like, angled foundations. That's a bit of a bummer. 
I was going to go really crazy with this, but I think for the first build, we're just going to kind of make this a simple... Because if I, if I get hit with a storm up here, I could get, like, cold and actually, like, start taking damage. So let's get something going, first and foremost. And where was the um, ladder there? Which the ladders that go in the middle? Instead of off to the side. I guess I can put two of them. Yeah, that works. And then we'll put in a door and... Uh, nope, that's a window. Okay. So, yeah, window here. Window here. Let's put a couple more foundations behind it. I'll go a little bit, a little bit larger. All right. And I guess if it starts, like, if the weather starts kicking in, I really have to get a roof on a place. You know, I can. But it looks like nice weather to me for now. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. All right, building. Let's do the rest of the windows. Here. Oh, that's backwards. Hold on. How do I destroy it? I don't, oh, dismantle. Okay. And you got you just got to pick up the stuff. Because you get 100% of the stuff back. Which I definitely, definitely appreciate. So there. And spin you around. There. And we'll just put that one right there. And the rest will be walls. Got a nice little 2 by 3 here. I got a bed and a fire. That's all I can make. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep through the night. You can't sleep at this time of day. Oh, okay. So I must have... Yeah, I must have just, I was staying up through the night just kind of messing with things. Got a couple torches down. That's awesome. But it is daytime, so that's great. I had to tear down one of my foundations in the front because I need more wood. I need to go down now. I need to get wood. I need to get resin. I need to get um, plant fibers. Uh, I need to look out for a screw and a bottle cap, which I think those are kind of by the water. So I think we're just going to go out and explore now and try and kick butt and see how you know things go. Uh, if I get some stone, I can make the stone cutting thingy, my Bob. So we'll we'll see, we'll see what we got out here. Let's go. Oh yeah, you can't run on this thing. I'm like, why can't I run? Didn't I hit this already? Oh, that's right. You can hit it whenever you want because in, if your little balloon thing's up top, you need to call it down. Fair enough. I'm gonna go down near the water and see what I can see down there. Um, I got caught out at night and there was like a grasshopper. Uh, one problem with playing this game at night is you can't see anything and there's no like uh brightness settings and i don't mind it being dark at night for me personally but i'm trying to make youtube videos so that might be a bit of a of an issue so, so oh goodness that was a lot of damage dude holy crap the fall damage is real and i've got to eat something so i can get my health back uh passively so i don't have to use my bandages right now so all right we got some wood down oh what is that a key oh bottle cap bottle cap oh and a screw beautiful and oh man this is this is awesome. Go ahead and harvest the stone. Come on, come to Papa. There you go. Well, only two pieces. Uh, achievement unlocked. Stone Age. Okay. All right, I'll take it. Take some more stone there. As far as I can tell, everything everything that I've ever harvested is respawned. Now, will the screw like it, it takes like an in-game day to respawn? It's not like it respawns every morning. Like from what I can tell. When you loot something, uh, you'll have... Oh, I can't do that with the key. I guess not. Um, yeah, from what I can tell, you, it'll, like, respawn, you know, a day, over 24 hours in the game. Uh, it's not like you just get something in the, in the nighttime and it'll just be back in the morning. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab this. Five. Now, I don't know about the screws or the bottle caps or anything. Those might be different. So I have no clue. Cool, cool. Looks like we can get over to the other side. We'll have to go over there and see what's what. Oh, boy. Here we go. Crap, I forgot to make arrows. Darn it. Well, to be fair, I, didn't, I don't have a workbench at my base. Oh, you turned right towards me. See that? Go. Boom. Whoops. Yeah, that's a power attack. Very good. Very good. I could take the red ants as well, the um the bull ants. Um, oh, after that, I'm not sure what I can take. I don't know why I'm taking out the torch. Five. Cool, cool. Yeah, man, I'm I'm really liking this game. I'm kind of looking forward to playing with the cage crew. Hopefully, the multiplayer won't be too laggy because I'm gonna have to like host it. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, let's make a noise. Hold on. When you the structure, yeah, damaged structures can be repaired. Okay, good. I know that. I'm aware. Oh, that's another... Uh, no, I don't know if that's another tree you can climb. I think it might be. 
Creatures from afar. Yeah, I know. I got... I do have to go home and make some arrows. But like I said, I didn't have enough materials uh, to make myself a uh, workbench in my base. I guess I could go take the workbench out of my other base. Yeah, I'll probably do that. I'll probably take my other workbench out of my other base as well. But I would like to gather a lot of materials before I go back. Ooh, bees? Is that what I'm seeing over there? A honeycomb? Okay, well, kind of stay away from that for now. I'm gonna grab as many resources as I can to get back and make a, make some arrows for my bow. Bow don't, bow don't do no good if you don't have arrows, my man. It's kind of weird you can't you can't swim. I wonder if that's gonna be like something they'll add later. Might maybe not because it seems like the the division of the game, it, like not being able to swim, is gonna be a like a gameplay thing. Like you know you can't get over there because you can't swim. You gotta figure out how to get over there. Man, look at all those ants. That is a lot of ants. Pretty sure the ants can't go in the water either. Alright, let's take a look at this tree. No, this doesn't look like a parkour tree. Even though it has all the stuff on it. It doesn't look high enough. I'm gonna kind of look around though. Yeah, let's go up it. Why not? That right there is a parkour tree. Because you see how high it goes? This one right here doesn't seem like one. But, yeah. We will see. Come around here. <clears throat> Come around here. By the way, those little dark spots are spawners. I should probably try and kill a grasshopper. Yeah, here we are. Oh, is it? Oh, what is this? I'm not sure what I'm not sure what this is. What is this? Small folk leave owls, magical idols, and decorations. Okay. So I'm not sure what, what, if there's anything to do up here. It doesn't seem like it. Just looks like it's kind of like a whatever. I wish I, oh, uh, I feel like I was just going to go right off the edge there. The fall damage is no joke, man. You do not have to fall from high. This thing would kill me like three times over if I, if I fell from here. Oh boy. But that gives you an idea of what I had to go through on the parkour to get up to the, the base that I'm at. What is that down there? What is that? That's like a bottle cap. What's it? Oh, it's it's wood right next to it. Okay. All right. I will take this. All right. Multiple bottle caps. That is sweet. Let's grab some more stone. Very nervous. Oh, is that a poisonous mushroom? I think there's like poisonous mushrooms. You like those mushrooms I can eat? I think there's like poisonous versions and you use it for something in the future. Grasshopper. Grasshopper. Uh, yeah, poisonous mushroom. I won't eat it. Well, I'll, I'll try not to eat it. If I do, it'll be, it'll be by accident. I don't always eat poisonous mushrooms, but when I do, it's an accident. Well, I found something that needs an axe to cut down. So let's see what we get from this. A crude hatchet or better. Wait, I have a crude hatchet, don't I? What am I using? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well... I don't know what I could use to chop. Oh, this is probably for the mushrooms only, I'll bet. All right, fair enough. Ladybugs, your time is at an end. Whoa! thought I could one-shot them, but... Could have swear I one-shot them last game. One-shotting them is important, because they run away. Looks like it's starting to get dark, too. Yeah, it's about midday. So it's not starting to get dark, but... <laughs> the day is going by. I need to grab more of these, uh, these freaking fibers, man. These are the things I keep leaving behind. <laughs> oh, crap. Don't want to go near that. Freaking hornet's nest. Get me out of here. Where am I, anyway? Okay, I'm starting to go really far away. Let's try and get back to where we were, where we started. I would try and fight that grasshopper. I just want to come all the way out here to get my body. Take forever. I could probably outrun these ants, but um, I don't really know. I probably need their... I need their giblets. There you go. Yeah, I can take it. 
face tank you, bro. Yeah. I need to... Because I, I can get food out of that. So that's really nice. So I need to head back this way. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That's a lot of them. I need some weapons and some AoE attacks. Let's use a bandage. And we're also going to eat... Man, I really need to, like, start working my way back to get to home. I think you might be able to use the big trees as fast travel points as well. Alright, is this taking- is this gonna take me home? No. We need to go that way. Alright, let's just go up this hill. <laughs> Not sure where you can and can't go. You know, you go in one direction, but that doesn't mean you can actually go that way. Oh, lopped his head right off. That was legit. Is that my tree? Yep, that is my tree. Wow, I was closer than I thought. <laughs> I was really close. Oh, you you want to dance? There you go. Hey, you like me now. You should have walked away and you had the chance, bro. Alright, I'm going to stay around. Um, I'm going to fight the grasshopper. Because I'm kind of curious and I am next to home, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, couldn't jump. Oh, out of stamina. Okay. All right. And lunge. All right, there we go. Got the grasshopper. Hell yeah. What do I get from him? Nothing? Really? Oh, there we go. Ooh, grasshopper sight. So this is going to be just like grounded. We have to get different parts to see the recipes of everything. Which, um, you know, it's fine. I don't have a problem with that as long as I know the rules. Alright, let me continue gathering stuff and then we'll do some crafting during the night. Went ahead and made a workbench and then I made a stone cutter and a couple of chests. And in the workbench, I can make a crude hatchet, although I need to get chitin. Uh, I think everything else here is... Oh yeah, and then the grasshopper scythe, which I'm going to need... Refined wood. Yeah, exactly. And then in here, I can make all kinds of stone things, but I need refined wood. In order to get refined wood, I need seed oil. In order to get seed oil, I need seeds. In order to get seeds, I need the next upgrade of the hatchet, which will be the crude hatchet, in which case I need chitin. So that's kind of what we're looking at at this point. So I'm going to go explore and just see what's out there and see what we can find. Um, I do know there's a guy that can make me armor, so I'm going to go have him make me some armor. It's like... um. The armor I'm wearing, I don't think has any, like, protection on it whatsoever. Let me take a look. Yeah, you can see right there, we've got cold protection, but not, like, protection protection. So it just helps out a little bit with the cold, and I'd rather find this other guy where I can get some armor that actually give me some protection, as well as cold protection. I just have to kind of remember where he is, and I think he's around this way. Oh, it looks like it's gonna rain. Darn it. Hopefully we don't get, like, a real storm where I'm gonna have to, like, go back. That would stink. Yep. Crude hatchet. Yep. Um, these are flint hatchet. So. All right. I believe we need to go this way. And I will pick up some stuff along the way. It's a little dark here, so I'm going to take out my torch. It is nice that you could fight with the torch out. So. Yeah, this is the this is the proper area. I just need to get down there without dying. Uh, let's go this way. Looks like I can come. I can go down right right down these rocks. This guy also said when I was I came over to him in between cuts, and he said something about like, uh, oh, people told me to come talk to you. Or I said to him, or I could say to him, I didn't do it because I wanted you to be here for it. But and uh, yep, yeah, okay, this is it. He's right over here. We gather some resources on the way over there too. Yeah, can never have enough resources. And I'll grab some of this as well. What's up, bro? How's it going? Alright. Uh, can you craft some armor for me? I've got to bring you the materials. And here we go. So it has got light stuff. Which gives... Better movement speed. And protection. But it doesn't do anything for the cold. So that's like protection and movement speed. And then there's the padded stuff, which is protection and cold, uh, cold protection. Hmm, 
so yeah, I'm gonna go with protection. Damn, used all my stuff. Okay, I'm gonna need some more fiber. Uh, let's just go ahead and put the pat. So the stuff I got on has zero protection, three cold protection. This has nine cold protection and one protection. So right there, we, uh, I, I don't want to be like defensive stats or anything. I'd like to see some defensive stats, but yeah, padded stuff. And we, I've got traveler. So let me go ahead and grab some more of this stuff. And then we're going to have... I left some at my base because I want to, I want to like, expand my base at some point. I don't know if we'll get into it today, but we'll see. Go. That's probably not enough. I, I think I need quite a bit. That's 22. I thought it was, like, 19 or something just for one of them. That should be enough for the rest of the pieces. All right. Uh, craft stuff for me. And what I do? I did the, um the chest item so we'll do the padded bracers and the pants okay and nope equipped 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 all right so it's full padded 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 all right what i'm gonna do is i'm going to head um do i want to head out or do i want to build i feel like i kind of want to head out but it's going to take me too long to get down there i think building out my base would probably be a better idea although i don't need any more room you know what let's just explore the hell with it let's just explore I, like I'm, I'm thinking yeah build out your base but i don't really need to build out my base right now and i want that to be like its own thing i really like to build out my base but i'm gonna continue gathering stuff and heading down south and seeing what's what there's um i heard there's some bugs down south that'll give you chitin i don't expect to get to them today but you know also i i need to like climb up more trees and make more bases oh uh, maybe i should do that because i think you can transfer from oh no don't fall in the See, here's the thing. Am I going to be able to get my stuff back? Oh, it's weird. I still have my padded stuff on. That's interesting. But am I going to be able to get that stuff back? I still have my sword, too. I wonder why I have my sword. See, here's the thing. I just jumped. How do I talk to you? I uh, want to make my train camp in public. I'd like to call the hot air lift. Here's the thing. I jumped in the water. Shouldn't my stuff be at the bottom of the uh, of the river and I can't get it back? I don't know. I think we're going to go find out. Well, that's nice. If you die in the water, it puts your bag up here somewhere you can loot it. All right, cool. That is um, that is very helpful. Do I have any food on me? I do not, but I do have bandages. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use some bandages to get my health back. I had to fight to get back here. Okay, so I would like to go this way. Yeah, I don't know. Um, what I would like to do is I would like to find some of the big trees you can like make your base. Because I think, I think, I don't know... For a fact, but I think you could teleport from base to base. So, like, if I set up a base, like, somewhere far away, I could just kind of fast travel over there. Oh, so I'm not sure about this. Um. Okay, the hell with it. Alright, cool. Wasn't sure. I was kind of sure, but I wasn't sure, sure. Alright, so there's the honeycomb right there. Is that what they call that? Probably. Uh, still a lot more ants over here. You can kind of outrun them, but it's it's kind of it's also annoying. So it's, it might just be better to kill them, because sometimes you'll try and outrun them and you won't be able to, or like there'll be too many or you'll run into more, or whatever. Um, that's my tree, right? I think so. It's at least close to my tree. That isn't a tree I can climb up. All right, let's keep looking around. Oh, wasps. That's got to be a bad sign, right? What time of day is it? Eh, looks like it's kind of afternoon, early afternoon. Yeah, those things are going to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that bee will attack me. Um, well, yeah, whatever. It's, the thing is, there's not just one of them. There's a lot of them. Maybe I could, like, fight one, but... I do have arrows. I don't know how they work. You gotta equip your arrows? There we go. Oh, cool. Alright. I'm not gonna go that way, though. I don't want to tangle with those bees. Not right now. I think one death for a video is good enough. Seven, 
three. I didn't have enough food with me. That's a problem. But that's okay. Should be all right. I'll make sure I bring more food with me next time. Because you got to keep that health above, you know, 70%. That looks like a tree I can climb up. Let's take a look. Bees. Yes, that is definitely a tree I can climb up. Am I really going to parkour up this tree? Oh, nope, I'm not, because I want to fight that bug. That's the bug I'm looking for. Although, I don't know if I can beat it. Uh. Oh, I'm not like rolling. Roll, bro. There you go. No, oh, no, not the bees. Okay, nope, this is not good. All right, I'm out. I'm out. I'm not going to fight this guy along with the bees, too. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. Well, you know what? I want to die as close to my base as I can. So I can get my stuff back. Oh no. I gotta jump across. I forgot. All right, it looks like they're not aggroing anymore. Oh! Oh, these guys might be easier than I thought. Although there's a lot of them. <clears throat> Come on, roll! I got no stamina. Come on, die! Three. Oof. I'm surprised I could kill the bees. Cool. I gotta try and get back. Maybe make a bridge. Can I make a bridge? <clears throat> Is there a bridge to get across here? Or do I always have to jump? Because I prefer not to jump. And I'm not seeing any kind of bridge in the area. Alright, here we go. This, uh, this doesn't look good. Here we go. Okay, made it. Woo! Yeah, I'm not really sure about that. Well, guys, we got a nice safe base up here. A nice starting location. Um, I'm going to do some more research and find out where the other trees are. So maybe I could start tree hopping. Also, I'd like to find out where I can get over this water without having to make suicidal jumps. Um, I'm thinking right here might be a place. Maybe I was up here when I made the jump. And if I just went a little bit more down here, it would have been okay. It is a good thing that I could kill the bees. I thought the bees were going to be a death sentence. And that bug I was trying to get, it does drop chitin. And I think I could take them. I just need to get better combat and everything. So, you know, should be able to do that eventually i am going to call this one here if you end up enjoying the video please remember to uncage that like button also if you're new here please subscribe for more daily videos thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time and until then take it easy